Welcome back. In this chapter, we want to add data to the database. This time around, we, were, we are interested in adding our item entry data to a database. And what we are looking at is that every time we adding data, we are going to be adding data basing on uh, this, these categories. Okay, so we want to add data using this interface and this and then we, we select a category so that uh, that this item is attached to a particular category here all right okay back to the design but i need this to be right on top okay this entire so i'm clicking the data the table and i'm pressing the arrow key to the right so that it lands into the space and then we align it to the top so the v align it's default and with the align we want it to the top okay which is okay there okay otherwise it was looking really fine right there okay it should be right on top which is okay all right so when it comes to this uh we want to be able to capture data and to the database we have already captured the data using this and uh, uh, it is uh, the same as almost the code is looks the same as that okay this time around we want to capture data to the database so we shall be interested in uh, this as our item name so we shall take item name enter to confirm to the name then click at that only what you need to do is at yours you just need to change where we have the name somewhere there or at the somewhere just look through the properties where we have the name change it okay so we have the qty for the quantity quantity and then we have the date we shall have the date there uh we shall have this as uh we shall have uh, it as cut okay then we have this as description description btn this oh this is text txt description disk okay then the button that we need to click at is going to be a btn btn item okay so uh well, we have just named our items uh, the date possibly I need to change it a little let me just give it some other property uh, let me just look at its code I need it I don't need the text the type okay I just need a uh, date okay so that we know that okay this one takes text date doesn't take text all right let's get to our database our function page and this one is going to you're going to write a pair, uh, function function uh, to, to add add items okay a function to add items and what do we need to add items well, let's comment adding items to the database table okay then adding items to the database table we have add uh, add items to the, to the table okay then we shall insert into into what into items I think uh, let's check our database so we shall select localhost localhost and then we shall select PHP my admin then uh, we are interested in uh, my shop the items table is there right so uh, the items table we are interested in this okay this items right so items this is auto increment we don't need necessarily to work with it it will just create itself so item name so items so into item table so items which is the item table okay items right there values values 
and the values we are taking in the first one as uh, it's an auto number, so auto increment. I don't need to take it, so I leave it empty, and then I go in for the second one. The second one is uh, taking item name. Okay, so uh, item name is coming from uh, from my interface. My interface as this. Okay, so I'm taking this as my item name. Okay, so we'll go back to this, and then I put my item name there. But which method am I using? I'm using a method of uh, of uh, post. Okay using method of post post method to insert uh, something that is coming from that location okay and then comma and then I need uh, I need another uh, I need to pick uh, uh, I need to follow the item name is picked this one is already picked and was left empty then the item name is picked then I need the quantity so I go back to my interface and I click at uh, the design. I click at the quantity, quantity in stock, uh, which is QTY, copy. Then I go back to my PHP and then uh, I make sure that I enter the QTY using the method of post. Method of post. I'm posting QTY for quantity. Then uh, I need another after the quantity. I need to take in the price. The price, by the way, we did not specify the price in our interface. Okay. So the price is not specified. The price should have fitted there. Okay. So the price. Uh, need the price there so we shall take the price as that okay so this one is we are taking PR the price okay and then we take it control C to copy it for the price and then uh, in my interface the price is there okay price is there so the price uh, will will go to this okay so there I need to take in the price I'm using a post method price right then a comma when I need to take in after the price I need to take the description the description is uh, is covering from this okay then I go back there my PHP code I take in the description using the method of uh, post description is taken in then uh, after the description, I need the cut ID, but the cut ID is coming from uh, an interface. The cut ID is coming from this interface, which is cut. Okay, so copy it, and then uh, I go back to my interface, my code. I need to take in that, so I'll put a comma, and I take in that. Okay. So I'm using a method of post. Okay, I think that's all that I need uh, to work with there. All right. So after that, I need to terminate. Okay. Then I need to be able to tell the system that this is an SQL statement, SQL query. So I'll take the result. Uh, equal to my SQLI SQLI uh, query the query is uh, 
it's coming from the connection first which is this okay the connection comes first and then we're taking uh, what what holds the statement okay like that and uh, we need to tell that this is the person end user that the system has captured your record successfully so if if uh, uh, this result if it is result if it is result and it is true that means it has captured the content so we tell uh, data data entry successful successful okay however if there is an error okay so we tell the person that uh, we have sorry we have an error and we shall possibly take my SQLI error and the error that is coming from uh, the connection Let me just take this uh, connection. The error is coming from the connection. Okay, and then we terminate. Okay, so uh, we want that. Uh, yes, that that will help us to add data to the database. But what happens when you click at a button? So the button that we want to click at is this. Okay, the button is called uh, BTN item. So copy that. Uh, that button can be created called enter. Enter data. Okay, that will be visible. Enter data. All right. We saw it. Oops. So enter data. All right. So when it comes to this every time we click at a uh, btn item which is this button uh, the data here is executed okay so that's that's what we want to, to implement okay so i'm selecting that and i'm moving back to my code that i've just created and um, i'm commenting again that a click of the of the button item item cut item item name yes item name uh, the code is executed so if uh, if if what if is set what is set if using a method of post if using a method of post something is executed what is ex that is uh, executed it's btn item okay the button is btn not item name but btn so btn item if it is executed if pressed then uh, this entire code is run okay and we want to Put the system to a listening mode so we shall possibly copy that then we shall transfer it to your interface and replace it somewhere let us put it in a in a okay let's just put it let's put something right click and select table then we set row and the, we cover this up there and the button moves up there so we basically have the code in here right and we have it right there so php 
and then there that's the code terminate and then we we'll save changes okay so basically that and then we we would wish to to see to it that at least uh, we have our data our code uh, doing what it's supposed to do okay so item name item name we are looking at uh, uh, coca-cola or coke coca cola okay coca-cola quantity in stock i have 24 i uh, the date um then selecting the date of 15th and the price is one fifth one five hundred uh, it's a soft drink right and then uh, i type this is a cock and ice cold and ice cold cock cock or coca-cola coca-cola just having fun Okay, so take note when I when I click at browse, there's nothing okay in the items table, but when I click at this, uh, we expect something to happen. And say the data entry successful. So when I click at browse again, uh, we have the record taken in, and it's ID number one. Okay, so we are sure that uh, uh, our data has been captured successfully uh in the last uh in this session the last bit is uh i'm just going to look at uh, how do we extract the entire record of this nature out okay and that's the last uh, function that i would love to write before we call we we see uh data that is taken into the next page okay so in the next page in the next chapter we are going to look at how do we carry data across a page